Well, good afternoon. It's a snowy day here in St. Paul, and I'm sure, as I understand, it's probably much worse out in Senate District 16. Sounds like you're getting quite a bit of snow, and uh, the winds are starting to pick up pretty well. So I hope that anybody that is traveling out in that part of the state that you're cautious and that you get to where you're going to go safe and get back home safe. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the, uh, the nursing homes that are being proposed for the veterans and there's one proposed in Bemidji, Montevideo, and Preston. And last year in the bonding bill, we put money in for the state's portion of the uh, money for the, for the building of these uh, nursing homes. So the resolution is uh, to the United States of uh, government, and that resolution is to memorialize the United States government to honor veterans by funding construction costs for proposed veterans homes in Bemidji, Montevideo, and Preston. It is interesting how things work, and you've heard me talk different times about how uh, I really applaud the governor for wanting to have one Minnesota, and I think that is great, and I would like to see that happen. You've also heard me talk about the complications to become a one Minnesota. To become a one Minnesota, we have to have equalization and funding and education, transportation, nursing homes, and all of those different things. So here we are today now. Uh, uh, the bed, the, the three homes would have approximately 72 beds in each home for our veterans and I think this is really great. I carried the bill for several years and uh, Senator Lang has carried the bill from the Senate side for the last uh, two years and uh, we were successful in getting that money in the bonding bill but now we're getting some pushback from the Twin City uh, folks, the DFL folks in the Twin Cities they feel it's unfair that we're going to get money for nursing homes out in rural Minnesota. They think that they should all be in Minneapolis and St. Paul. And that if our rural members that are veterans want to go to a nursing home that's a veterans home, they can come to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Well, I can kind of remember how interesting it was when uh, we were doing this, talking about these homes and about the need to have these homes throughout various parts of the state so that people have an equal opportunity to be in a nursing home and have that nursing home somewhat within reasonable range to their families. And I think that that was a good discussion we had back in those days and had a lot of support for it and I, felt, I think it's a good discussion for today. I think that we need to have uh, nursing homes out in rural Minnesota and more of them because uh, we have a lot of population that are veterans and that would like to be in a, in, a, in a veteran's home and I think we need to try to honor that as much as we can. So the resolution uh, was uh, passed off of the passed out of the Veterans Committee today. I'll have a couple of other stops and then we'll see if Governor Waltz will sign the resolution and then we'll move that resolution to the, uh, na the federal level in Washington and hopefully we can get uh, those folks, the, the folks in Washington, to uh, realize the importance of doing their share of the funding for this. Uh, as a state, we've come up with what we need to do now. We need to have them do it. We also realize as a state that by doing this, when these homes are built, that we're going to have some uh, responsibility for funding the maintenance and the upkeep of these homes. And we understand that. We're prepared to do that. So we're just doing a resolution asking the uh, federal government to step up now and finish this thing with the funding so that we can get these done. And we're hoping that that will happen. And I can tell you I'll be fighting very hard to keep these three nursing homes in rural Minnesota. I think they're needed. And I think if we're going to be a one Minnesota, today would be a real good day to start being a one Minnesota. And let's show both uh, sides of this, the rural and the metro, let's show both that we can be one Minnesota by cooperating and putting these three nursing homes where they belong. I hope that you're in where it's warm. I hope you're not stuck someplace out in a snowbank. If you are, make sure you follow the proper precautions and procedures and hope that everybody gets home safe and look forward to visiting with you again next week.